because they actually already knew about it. Good. And I'll prove it in a second. But Satan even takes a good idea. He says, no, no. It's, 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 he takes it and says, no, no. Not that. He says, you can't eat it. And if you do eat it, you will be no good and evil and you will become like God. So he appeals to our need for self-glorification. And you know what he makes it about? He makes it about the fruit. He makes it about the fruit. Oh, what do you mean you can't eat that? No, it's not about the fruit. It's about the fact that God said, don't go near that. That's what it's about. It's about God's command. Satan seeks to make it about the fruit when really it's about evil. It's the same tactic that he uses right now. The first tactic is the same tactic he uses right now, and he's very successful with it. He just changes the conversation from evil to apples. He changes the conversation. So the conversation isn't about redefining marriage. He changes the conversation about homosexual rights. No, no, it's about the rede redefinition of the word marriage. And if you disagree with anyone, you're a bigot, you're a hateful person, you are the scum of the earth. Am I really? I think you're changing the conversation here. He changes the conversation from abortion and a, literally a holocaust of millions and millions of unborn children to a woman's choice. Oh, you're changing the conversation. It's not pro-choice, it's about the slaughter of infant children. Is this too real too quickly? He changes it from what is about what is best for our life to, hey, if it feels good, do it. Hey, you can do anything you want. Listen, right is right for you, and that's totally good. No, 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 what is best for me? What is correct for me? He changes it from wisdom and having a good relationship, a right relationship, a healthy relationship, to YOLO. Hey, do whatever you want. You only got one life. Go ahead, feel free. Screw it up as quickly as you can. He changes the conversation. And you got to understand, I'm not going to talk about any of that stuff. I want to talk about the real things that are going on. I want to talk about good and evil. Good and evil. Because you know what? Adam and Eve, they already knew about good. So really, what Satan was offering them is eat from the tree and you'll know evil. They already knew good. First off, they didn't have to work. Secondly, they were on eternal vacation. Thirdly, right, they were in paradise of paradise. Heaven's on earth. A place that God created for them where he brought food to them. Where the animals, they didn't have to be afraid from. Lions and sheep, they could come together and just hang out. And it wouldn't be a scary situation where you could chill and have a pet tiger and not get your arm bit off. It was total and complete paradise. They knew good more than we'll ever know good. The only thing Satan was offering them was to know evil. And can I tell you something? That's what he's doing right now. He isn't offering you to know good when he's saying, hey, maybe you should just get with that girl. Just see how it feels. You know what? And just find out for yourself. You think, if once I do that, I'm going to know good. I'm going to know what all my friends are talking about. I'm going to know what they don't want me to know. No. You're going to know evil. You're going to experience it. You're going to know it intimately. You're going to know the feeling of darkness that's going to creep out over you the second you're done with that. You're going to know the feeling like a rock in the pit of your stomach. That you want to puke. That you want to throw up. You don't want to see anyone. You literally, depression's going to have a door come over you where you can literally go into cutting yourself because you hate yourself because you gave yourself up so quickly and it wasn't even worth it. You're not going to know good. You're going to know evil. And you're going to know it very intimately. But the devil tries to say, oh, no, no, it's not about evil, it's about experiencing things. Try it. Be very careful. Be very careful. Because the enemy is trying to turn authority and God into the enemy. And they're not. How many know the phrase, man, if I said, hey, God is good? And all the time. Oh, I love Christian cliches, man. God is good. All the time. They already knew good. Because they knew God. They hung out with him every single day. And they were in his earth. And you know what God said when he created his earth? It's good. If it's good enough for God, it's probably really good. That's how good the earth was. 